Hey guys, it's me, Tom, and I'll show you another CW War replay. You can tell, uh, you can tell that one of we got a lot of two stars and three stars, but we managed to three star all the tower twelves, tower elevens, tower tens. But let's check this base. It's pretty interesting. Shall we see? Looks so. So far, we've got like infernals here, and then the eagle there, and then the town hall stuff like that. <clears throat> Looking like a yeti smash with a new siege machine. What? So what do you do? Well, let's find out, shall we? King to funnel, Pekka to funnel. A Yeti over here to... A Yeti over here to <coughs> help the Pekka on the left. The interesting thing about the <coughs> Yeti is when it gets damaged, it releases Yeti mites, which are basically go for defences. They're basically like hogs as well. So can you, so can you see like the these yeti mites? I just go take out that archer tower, for example. So yeah, efficient funnel on the with the king, right? Right, so this new siege barracks, it releases a pecker and then like 10 or so wizards, then your CC troops. <clears throat> it's basically adding, if it's like 10 wizards, that's 40 w troop space pecker. It's like adding 65 extra troops to your f uh, to the f uh, battle for free, but it doesn't break any walls or anything, so keep that in mind. You can see the Schaefer base is pretty much like this. Warden abated to protect. <laughs> That's funny, Siege Rikes got protected as well. Poison and then jump, jump as well because Siege Rikes, like I said, doesn't break any walls unlike the other Siege machines. So now you can you can see how effective these yeti mites are. You just have to rage them when they <coughs> you just have to rage the yetis when they are under heavy fire, so the yeti mites can quickly damage defenses. That's the key, I think. The new hero, the Royal Champion, targets defenses, so treat her like a hog rider. Pretty much. Oh, and in the siege, when the siege barracks gets uh, <coughs> loses all the health after the wizard spawned, then the uh, hog riders come out. No, the the actual CC troops come out. So basically, in this case, it was hog riders. They will go this way because they won't. The wardens further distance. The wizard tower is closer. So yeah, like I said, if you if you rage this rage the yetis, the yeti might get raged, and look how much damage they do. It's insane. Heal for the there with the hogs. <laughs> so 
to be honest, I, for the Royal Champion, she's okay, but you have to treat her like a hog rider, and she has her bases. She hits four different defenses. I think it's... I think it's best to use a Ralph Champion a little earlier rather than a little later, but it's up to you to decide. Because when she uses a bit, she doesn't go invincible or invisible like the other heroes do, so keep that in mind. On defense, uh, the champion is basically another queen, so that's another factor if you want to do hulk attacks or like uh, lava loon attacks or something it's basically like a this yeti smash it's basically just push in <coughs> brute force in and then uh, use back end uh, side hogs for the flanks so that's how it works for this one well anyway thanks guys for watching peace out